Hey everyone, it's Michael, and I teach you how to become fluent in Spanish in 12 months or less. And today we're gonna to talk about what is fluency in a language, a very controversial topic. Everyone has their own definition for fluency. Um, this is the ninth video out of 10 that I'm filming today. You can tell that I'm wearing the same t-shirt. It's part of an experiment. Um, I already filmed a video on why I'm doing this experiment of trying to release as many videos as I can um, to help out my Spanish business and my YouTube channel. But that's besides the point. Today we're gonna to talk about fluency. So you can go find that video. I think I probably released it yesterday. Go check it out. But today we're talking about fluency and what it is. So in my mind, I think Ollie Richards, you can look him up on YouTube, has the best definition. I think it has always stayed with me. It's such a beautiful way to describe it, which is, and you can look it up, maybe he describes it. I'm, uh, describes it better than me, I'm paraphrasing, but it is that you can have a conversation with someone at a bar and there is no strain on either side to understand or to speak to each other. To me, that is fluency. So when I see someone speaking, you know, Spanish, um, if at any point, and it's okay to stutter, it's okay to be like, oh, how do you say that word? But if at any point the person receiving the Spanish as a native speaker is just sitting there kind of like, like trying to help out and it, it's not very natural, that's not fluent yet. The person can be intermediate, advanced, like very good, but it's not fluent yet. It's not until you can sit at a bar and and like just both like just have a conversation. If if you're trying if if you both speak English and the other person is trying to like switch to English because it's just easier, you're not fluent in the other language yet. You're just not. Because fluency means to me that you can have these conversations and that it's easy on both sides and that you don't have to strain or try to help the other person out. Um, I think the people, the Puritans that say um, that fluency is when you sound exactly like a native speaker and that you need to know every single vocab word and have perfect pronunciation, I just don't agree. I think you could still be fluent with an accent and still not know every single word. And because that kind of fluency comes after like, five to 10 years of, of language learning. This like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know you were American. You sound exactly like French. Like to some people it may come easier, but to most it is years and years and years of learning. And depending on what your goal is, to me personally, it's not worth it because I don't mind having an accent. Like, yes, you might have like the occasional, like, uh, like making, getting made fun of because you have an accent. And there is a difference between just talking about like, some people from Spain because my family's from there and I speak to them all the time. Someone saying because and because is there's a big difference. Like you still want to have proper pronunciation. If someone's like, yes, I like it because it's like, well, no, phonetically, you know, in Spanish, you pronounce every single letter, but in English, you don't. So you can still have an accent, but you still don't want to do because you still want to do like because or because like, for example, in French, uh, Q-U-A-N-D, right? Uh, when in French. Um, I used to pronounce it quand. And that is very wrong, but no one taught me. I just saw how it was spelled and I was like, Q-U-A-N-D, Q-U-A-N-D, quand. Quand je vu aller au supermarché. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I literally had someone the other day, uh, not the other day, but when I was learning, they were like, whoa, whoa, Michael, can you just, it's not quand, it's con. You don't pronounce the A and the D. You just go, con. So it's like, oh, okay. Con, je vous allez. And you say the rest. Um, so don't be perfect. Fluency will come. Steady, steady, steady. Um, don't get tricked by these YouTubers online that say that they're fluent in a language and they're reading a script. That's not fluency. Um, that, that really pisses me off because it gives this false narrative to people. Like, yeah, I could try like to learn a language in a month, just get some proper pronunciation and just read the script and be like, I'm fluent in this language. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not fluent. What you have is a basic understanding and you can read a script. Fluency is also be careful with the monologues that are cut because you'll find a lot of these people that are like speaking quite well, but there's a cut every 20 seconds. Why is there a cut? Why don't they want to, why don't they want you to see them think. It's okay to think in English we, or in your native language, like you're thinking all the time. 
Like I'll be like, hmm, yeah, I think that's the right decision. Why? Hmm. And you're thinking. So fluency is not, in my mind, not very subjective. It's when there's no strain. Don't get fooled by people that say that they're fluent and they're not. Um, it is still hard to achieve. It is very hard to achieve this like no strain. You can be at a bar, it's loud, like it's busy. You're not in a like, private classroom, it's quiet. No one's talking and you can hear the other person exactly. You both have time. No, there's like beers around, you drink, um, you know, you're doing stuff and you're like, oh, and you're like joking around, like that's fluency to me. So anyway, we're almost at six minutes. Hopefully that helps. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, to like, go on to strangelanguageacquisition.com. I'm going to be coming out with the eight-week challenge on how to order in Spanish. This will be your gear up. This will be like, okay, let's do this thing. Let's start. I'm going to be with you every single step of the way. Um, I am looking for beta testers in that. And also, I'm looking for beta testers in my full program, which is how to learn Spanish in 12 months or less. Um, I'm starting from scratch. I have quote unquote, fired all my private students that uh, I was just like, I just can't do it right now. It's taking up a lot of time and I'm starting from scratch. So if you wanna be part of the first round of people, I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna accept 10 people into the program. So first 10 people to come in, I will ask you some questions to make sure you're a good fit. You'll come in, it will obviously be a reduced price and you'll be part of the people that really help to make this program, which I really do think is gonna be a really, really, really good program to make it better for other people. And so that more people can become fluent in Spanish that have wanted to, that have like family members that speak Spanish that they wanna communicate with, maybe mothers-in-law, sisters-in-laws, maybe they just wanna to travel to um, a country that speaks Spanish. Maybe they just wanna open up their horizons and, and speak to new people and build those relationships or get a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is. Um, so that's all the link is in the description. I will teach you how to become fluent in 12 months or less. It is absolutely possible. I teach you how to do that three hours a week. It's easy, digestible, and you can make it. I will see you in the next video.